April! What's your question? My question is, what the hell? What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and uh, <clears throat> I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm uh, on the mend from a surprise flu. Um, my second in, I don't know, about a month. It's weird. Uh, but uh, I, I feel better than I sound. I'm happy to be back and glad to be back at work. So much news going on. Appreciate all you tuning in and uh, all your support, leaving likes. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe. Now, the CDC is an agency that has been, uh, well, much maligned. Really, it was just, it, it, you know, the, it just kind of existed for years and years and years. Uh, until, well, the coup happened. And then people started becoming more familiar with the CDC and, you know, some of the things that they do along with, you know, Dr. Anthony Fauci and things of that nature. Well, turns out, you know, when they're not worried about um, actual contagions, <clears throat> they're worried about infecting the minds of youth with woke gender ideology. We're going to get into that after a super quick word from this video sponsor, Sheath. Huge shout out to this video sponsor. That's right, Sheath. These boxers are designed to keep your balls off your legs. Sheath has three individual compartments to keep everything down there separate and cool and comfortable. And hey, since they've been a long time sponsor, I've heard from many of you who have tried out Sheath and really love it. They were invented by a US Army soldier who came up with the idea for Sheath during his second tour in Iraq, where it was hot as heck and his boys needed to breathe. And on top of all sorts of awesome designs for Sheath, they've added all sorts of winter items, hoodies, gator necks, and all sorts of base layers. Head on over to the link in the description and pin comment down below. Use my promo code to save and support the channel and keep everything nice, cool, and dry. I know it might seem weird, fellas, to be trying some, some new gear down there, but in the, in the new year, I'd say give it a try. They're a loyal channel sponsor and... I hear nothing but good things from people who give them a try. So check out Sheath. Now, CDC promotes new tool <clears throat> to increase schools acceptance of gender ideology. Again, this is the CDC. This is Department of Health and Human Services. Okay. Safer, healthier people, they say. But that apparently includes gender ideology and other things of that nature. The CDC this week promoted a tool meant to encourage schools across the United States to embrace gender ideology to increase, quote, quote, inclusivity. On Tuesday, the CDC's Division of Adolescent School Health put out a link to a resource aimed at helping school administrators quickly gauge inclusivity at their schools. The resource, a self-assessment tool, covers things at schools from bathroom policies to sport teams and pronoun usage. The tool was developed using a host of materials from non-government agencies like the National LGBT Health Education Center and the Center of Excellence for Transgender Health. This is why I'm so vehemently against government involvement in just about anything besides roads and protecting our borders. What ends up happening at these huge government agencies is they get tons of funding. Right, tons of money, tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of money, right? And no, very little oversight. How do you spend that money? Well, you got to spend that money. It's like, remember the meme in the office? Did you watch the office? A lot of people did. But it was, I, I worked in the private sector. It was this way with budgets where they're like, uh, Michael's freaking out at the end of the year because he has like a $7,000 budget surplus. And if he doesn't spend that $7,000, he loses it in next year's budget. Essentially, you're saying, oh, well, you could operate it at, you could operate it at 100,000 instead of 110,000 or 107,000. So no, next year, you're only going to get 100,000 in the budget. This is the way the government works. So you spend and spend and spend and spend and spend, and then you keep spending. Well, you end up then with these like weird, you know, basement departments where you get some gender ideology kid right out of college, gets hired, gets a huge salary, gets all great health benefits. And they go unobserved. 
And uh, they end up doing this. Schools play a critical role in supporting the health and academic development of all youth, including success of LGBT students, creating and sustaining inclusive school environments, policies, programs, and practices that include LGBTQ youth is one strategy for improving the health and academic success of all youth. The resource reason. Now, by the way, this is the CDC. This is your tax dollars at work, Americans, right? The research was primarily developed by the CDC and the NORC research group at the University of Chicago. The resource is not required and is described as a collection of curated resources and tools to help schools enhance LGBTQ inclusive policies, programs, and practices. You know what I noticed today? If, if you type in CDC woke in a Google search engine, this, this, this is what showed up for me. I knew that like through all of my fever over the last couple of days, I'm like, there was some woke CDC stuff, right? So then I Google CDC woke and it brings me to this page, the actual CDC.gov. It's the number one result in Google. Secretly based? Preferred terms for select population groups and communitize. So in, in here you have corrections and detentions. Instead of inmate, prisoner, offender, criminal, try persons with pre-trial trial or with charge. What? Persons on parole? Or, this is on the CDC website. Persons detained by or under the custody of specific agency, for example, U.S. immigration. How about... Uh, you know, don't call them smokers, call them people who smoke. What? Somebody got paid to write this up well, with your tax dollars, at least here in America, right? Your tax dollars went, I'm sure it's like the same in Canada and the UK and many other Western nations too. You know, instead of saying hard to reach populations, is that supposed to be offensive? That's offensive now? Instead of homelessness, say, People experiencing homelessness? What? They're not experiencing it. They are homeless. Anyway, I digress. Just popped in my head. I was like, what? The inclusivity, inclusivity assessments are broken down into sections for administrators, educators, all users, and school health staff. There are three levels of inclusivity, ranging from commit to change to awesome ally. One section of the tool asks whether users recognize that gender, gender identity, and orientation can be experienced on a continuum, while others ask if the user assumes gender identity. The resource also asks if school employees are using gender-neutral language, like partner instead of boyfriend or girlfriend, in addition to using students' preferred pronouns. Administrators receive higher inclusivity grades if they have policies in place that allow students to use bathroom slash locker room of their chosen identity. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I'm not de definitely nobody's taking advantage of that, right? Administrators also are asked if the technological policies allow students access to age appropriate LGBTQ content and information. Recommended users for administrators include information from Human Rights Watch and Gender Spectrum. And listen, this is like, in the educator section, the tool asks if there are visual labels like rainbow flags that demonstrate the classroom is a safe space for LGBTQ students. Educators are also asked if during um, education class, if they teach information on all types of Coitus, not centering on P and the V. The guide recommends uses of phrase like body with a P or body with a V instead of a boy or a girl. I, I mean, this is absolute insanity. I mean, the idea that this is your tax dollars at work. I mean, between sending a zillion dollars to Ukraine and, and then seeing how this is, it's like, I, I don't trust the government with a single penny of my money. I mean, 
the CDC, aren't you still trying to figure out if we're supposed to be wearing masks or not? Maybe look into why, you know, I've been, the, I was the sickest I've ever been this last week. And it wasn't the coof. What's going on with that? Why does it seem like the flu is getting super powered? At least with me. At least with me. I mean, like the assessment areas. I use inclusive terminology, e.g. using individuals' chosen pronouns. So you, it's like saying, do you embrace their, their psychosis? Do you feed into their insanity? Yes or no? This is your tax dollars at work, people. Absolutely pathetic. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out Sheath, though. We'll talk to you again real soon. Thank you.